It's going. Oh my gosh. Perfect. Yes. Very Perfect. nice. Wow. Saws of the day. Now that is a rainbow flag that I can get behind. Woo wee baby. Isn't that cool? We got red, orange, beautiful green and purple, yellow, and blue. Got the Johnson Red 2171 Cutter's Edge with a 28 inch Sugihara full chisel 3 8 chain skip tooth. We've got the 590 Timber Wolf, which I call the Dire Wolf, made by Echo. And it is running a kick ass um, uh, uh, roller nose bar 22 inch full chisel full house 3 8 chain uh and that's uh mm, that's a steel rs chain that one right there i think is also a steel rs chain this one right here is uh my modified by me i mean it's it has, hasn't been ported and polished yet but it started life as a poland 330 and I put the 60cc cylinder on it and I painted it, painted it in Mopar colors. It is plum crazy purple and sublime green. And the decals I made and had printed out and stuff. It's running a 20 inch bar, full chisel, full house, steel RS chain. Nope. Yeah, yeah, that's no, no, that one's actually got a Husky X cut. Um, then we've got another Poland. This one's the Poland Pro 335. It's a small block, high top Poland. It's running a 20 inch, 325 full chisel, full house chain. And we got the Weimars. The Weimars has been ported by me and it runs great, runs fantastic. That is a really good little saw. And uh, it's a 49 cc's, we call it, it's a 50 cc class saw. 18 inch bar 325 steel rs chain uh the so so 50 54 60 59 uh 71 72 i think they're 71 cc's it's a good day Hold on. Are you excited about this mm. I know you are. He likes the pole.
the tripod. Whoa. Whoa. Ah! I squeaked. What's he gonna do? Just put the stick on its head and hold it down. Hold the head down and then grab it by the neck. There you go. Perfect. I wanna, I, I can't get it by its head because huh? there's a fucking stick on it. No, but get it yeah, behind I, the I know. head. Or just take the stick and pick it up and throw it. <laughs> yeah, there's that too. Yeah. That's really long. That's crazy. Oh. Yee! Throw it! <laughs> Oh, it's in the tree. Yeah. That's awesome. Ah, uh, snakes freak me out. Yeah. I grabbed one, so. I thought you were just going to pick that up and grab it. No, I, I, I lost my sensor in the trash, and I threw it away in the bin and everything. So I had to go out on the side of the You can ask fucking Tony. I was there on the side of the road digging through trash all on the ground. 
but I grabbed a snake and it was a baby one and I oh. just threw it. <laughs> it was, I didn't scream or anything, but it was scary. Moving on. That was pretty awesome little side adventure. <laughs> but yeah, snakes, you gotta watch out. That's what I learned last time. Like when I grabbed one, that's crazy. Yeah. Well, you said that you grabbed one. I thought that you weren't gonna hesitate to grab that one. It was so big. Uh, but I mean, those things get big. I, I was guess, like, those get, like, yeah, big. I know. But I was like, when I hold it by the head, how do I? I don't know. It's still it scary. would wrap around your wrist. Yeah, I know. So I I'm believe they're good. This. Right? The black ones are good, mostly. I I think. I don't know.
be best to get up close cut for of the cut and shit like that. You'll have plenty of time whenever it's about to fall. I'll be like, hey, you know, and all this stuff. Get back and all that. You show them the top, Blake? Show them how we got tied off, too. I sleep with my legs like that at night. So we got it tied off over there so that it won't roll and hit that dogwood. The hero saw of the day is the Johnster Head 2171 Cutter's Edge. Okay, you don't have to get too fancy.
Get on the other side of the fence. It's going. Oh my gosh. Perfect. Yes. Very Perfect. nice. Wow. Wow. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it. It made a crater. I know. Wow. Babe, that was perfect. Yeah, that was... Really, really, really perfect. Yeah. And then when I explain it. Dang. Okay, so far be it from me, guys, to act like I'm actually know anything of what I'm talking about when felling trees. Because I'm just learning. But what I have learned is that whenever trees have the tops taken out of them, they don't have any direction to go, so you have to force them. You know, they want to just stay there. I, I cut all that hinge wood down to nothing. And uh, so I had to knock it off with the wedges because all I wanted to do was stand straight up. The other thing that I just learned was although that rope that we had tied off to it put a lot of pressure on it initially, as soon as it started to fall, all that pressure went away. The rope went slack. And so basically this thing fell exactly where it would have if I didn't have the rope. But... I'm happy. Irene's happy. Are you happy, Blake? I'm super happy. Look at that crack. That's yeah. crazy. And we missed the do dogwood completely. Yeah, wow. And of course, we were never in any trouble of hitting the white oak over there. And we didn't so. damage the fence. And we didn't damage the fence. So, all is good that ends well. All is well that ends well. Look at, that. Look at my hand. It's like, uh, what's the, the guy from Dark Crystal? That was random. Looks like his head is stuck in there. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> so, see, look. This is all the hinge wood that I had left. Wow. I, I cut everything out of it. But, and it wasn't wanting to fall. Um, I messed up a little bit. I came in a little bit too low. But shoot, man. For somebody that's just learning, you can't get much better than that. This is a big ass. Look how big it is. Stay right there. So this is a 28 inch bar. Yeah. You know, so <laughs> stuff like that's hard for a new guy like me. You know, it's difficult. It is difficult to line everything up. You know, hats off to you guys that can do this and just hit it, like, you know, pinpoint it and stuff. It's difficult. But anyways, we're good. We got it.